I shouldn't have been alive. Last I remember, I was being torn to pieces by the living dead. I'd been running and hiding for days, ever since the disease infested this town. The media called it a virus. They didn't even have time to give it a name. It spread rampantly, threatening most major cities across the globe in a matter of hours. The infected felt the onset of the symptoms within minutes. Death occurred shortly thereafter. Then came the most terrible side effect of all, reanimation. Those rotting bastards took away my whole life. Everything I ever cared about was left in ashes. For the past few days before I was wounded, I had stayed on the move for lack of a better choice, trying to forget about the pain in the void. It didn't matter. Eventually, the undead caught up and made a snack out of me. I remember finding an unlocked building. A woman attacked me in the men's room. The men's room of all places. It's a good thing I pulled through, because that's no place to die. Those people hovering over me, who were they? What were they saying? What did they do to me? Whoever saved me brought my backpack. For that, I was grateful. It wasn't much, but it was the only thing I had left from my former life. The questions flooded my mind as I walked, the sounds of civilization reduced to a tense whisper. The city was a graveyard, in more ways than one. Those zombies were looking to fill their stomachs with flesh and blood. What was I looking for? The streets were empty. Even the animals had fled. Humanity had been reduced to table scraps. Still, I sought answers. I had been given a second chance and I wanted to find out why. It occurred to me, on second thought, that I might be dead. Was that the answer? Maybe the devil was waiting just around the corner. Whatever the case, I could say two things for certain. First, if I wasn't in hell, someone had a lot of explaining to do. Second, I was sitting- whoa! Second, I was sick of running from those things. Not this time. Bravo, 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 hey, especially like the move with the fork, that was nice. Who are you? What the hell? Whoa, calm down buddy, the name's Shelton, what's yours? 
say, those were some great moves. I've never seen anybody try to fight him before. Could have helped instead of just watching. Well, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been much help. Why is that? I'm a ghost. What do you want? See, you're a living person. And, and you're dead, just like all these other people out here. Why don't you go ask them for help? Leave me alone. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. I'm stuck like this. It sucks. I just... Would you please bury my body? What? It's just a couple blocks this way. I'm thinking if you bury me, I'll be able to move on to the afterlife. Please, you can't leave me like this. Dig your own grave. How am I supposed to pick up the shovel? You're looking for other survivors, aren't you? I know where some are. If you bury me, I'll tell you where to find them. There's one in particular I'm looking for. The man who cured you, right? I saw him and his crew take you into that apartment. You were a mess. And the fact that you're alive means there must be a cure for the virus. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? What I want are answers. Then help me and I'll tell you where to find them. <sighs> All right, fine. Hey, great, man, I really appreciate this. Come on, my, my body's just, just a couple blocks this way. Come on. My name's Shelton. You've already told me. So I guess this pretty much means I'm like your sidekick now, right? Hey, maybe you could get like a cool dark shirt to match mine. I know this website where- you stop where... chattering? No, I really hope I'm not bloated. It was the kind of afternoon where you just want to lay in the shade and not move. My lookout must have thought the same thing. Normally, I would have viewed this whole situation as completely fucked up. Somehow, on this day, it fit right in. Maybe we should say something. Go ahead. Shelton, you were a good body. You served me well. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Shouldn't you be going somewhere? I don't know for sure if my body was buried, I... Hmm. Well, I guess that didn't work. What? Chris, are you okay? <sighs> you did not just puke on my grave. I just need to rest. Great. Lay there and sleep. It's always going to be something with you, isn't it? Hey, meathead! This buffet is closed. Are you going to kill me? Are you infected? No. Oh. What's this all about? You want me to take care of him? No. What happened to him? I mean... What kind of wounds are those? Barnes? Oh, God. I don't know, but it doesn't look good. All right, Emery, we're gonna take him with us. You sure? No. But I want to give him a chance.
That ought to hold him. Hopefully he'll come around soon and we can find out what he knows and if he's all right. This whole fucking thing! Looks like they're back. Ron's gonna be pissed that we brought him along. Keeping Ron happy is not number one on my priority list. I don't understand why you did this, Barnes. How the hell can you bring him back here? I didn't really have a choice now, did I? Of course you did. I wasn't just gonna leave him there. That's not what I do. He could be infected. Yeah, he could be infected. He might not be too. The only thing we know for sure is he certainly would have became infected had we left him there. We don't know this guy. We don't know anything about him. Well, none of us knew each other three days ago. Look, we just got ourselves set up here. We don't need to go overloading the life raft. We only have to last until the military gets here. You were the damn military. And where's your unit? All dead. We're on our own. Ron, I didn't turn my back on you. And I'm not going to turn my back on any other survivor I find. We're going to need strength in numbers if we're going to get through this. He's big. He might need more provisions. We got to go get more supplies anyway. And if you're so worried about overloading the life raft, feel free to jump out and take a swim on your own. Jenna, go downstairs and keep an eye on him. Bob, you're with me. Ashley, you're gonna be all right. You told me you were a runner in school, right? So you're fast. Zombies are slow. You're gonna be fine. Everyone have those lists I gave them? All right, let's go. Let's take a break. Barnes, shouldn't we be spending all this time getting supplies? Shouldn't we be getting out of here? Believe me, if we're gonna survive on our own out here, we're gonna need those supplies. Take this water, for example. Who knows what we're gonna find floating in the river after today? Probably the same stuff we found floating in there yesterday. Can you call them? Check in. You're worried about Ashley, aren't you? A little bit. Bob, are you out there? 10-4, this is Big Dog, come back. What? That's my trucker handle. How's everything over there, Big Dog? Big man and the fox are sitting pretty. Big Dog's got his sniffer in the green grass, come back. Meet us back in the truck in about 20 minutes. Copy that. Catch in 20 for some bean house bull, bring it back. And Bob, next time, how about a little English, all right? 10-4, amigo. All the good numbers. Keep your metal down and your rubber up. Big dog out. You two seem to be getting pretty close. Who, me and Big Dog? Yeah. I like Ashley. She seems to like you, too. Never know. She could be the one. Or she might be one of the only ones left. I just wish we could have met under better circumstances, you know? Not like this. I can't wait to get back to my wife and little girl. I haven't had a chance to talk to him since this whole thing started. I haven't been able to call him. It's like this whole zombie thing has really ruined my day. We got us some zombies over here. We're in the mall parking lot. We need backup. We're on our way.
against me? Maybe a little. See anything you like? Who are you? My name's Chris. I'm Jenna. Why am I tied up? Well, your wounds. What happened to you? I was attacked. I almost died. Where are you from? What does that matter? It doesn't, I guess. It's just you're the first living person we found in days. We'd almost given up hope. Yeah? Yeah. We're, we're getting ready to leave town. It's getting way too dangerous here. How many people are with you? There's seven. Two days ago, we had ten. Do you remember us finding you? A little. Well, maybe I... Jenna, I don't mean to cut short this getting to know you chit-chat, but why don't you untie me? No, no, I can't. Not, not until the others get back. You might need my help. If there's a problem, I'll take care of it. You just sit there. Ron, he might be able to help us. Not until he answers a few questions. He's not a prisoner. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jenny, bring me first aid kit. It's gonna be okay, man. It's gonna be okay. Hold on. Uh, Hang in there. Yeah. What the hell happened? It's gonna be okay. Dude, it's alright. It's lost some blood. Shit, we all have to first aid some. Just use what I got. It's okay. I know. I've lost more blood than this before. We need something else. Ashley, bring me a shirt to, to wrap his leg with. Ron, just shut the hell up. We don't know what happened to him. Okay, what do you have anything else? We need something else. Stop it. Come on, we need something. You're gonna be alright. You're gonna be okay, man. You're alright. Hang in there. Just bring me bring me whatever we have. Whatever you have. Tie it off. Fuck this. Now listen to me. I'm not taking any chances here. Ashley, you say Barnes was attacked by a lot of zombies. You all got separated. And nobody knows if he's been infected. I'm not taking any chances. And I sure as hell don't want one of those things in here. We, we don't know if he was bitten. He might have been all right. He wasn't bit. What? He was trying to protect Ashley and me. When, when they attacked, he, he fended him off. He cut himself on something behind the building. He, he cut himself, that's all. He didn't have to shoot him. Ron, where did you get that gun? I've had it. Look. He would have been a liability to us regardless. And I'm not letting him 
or any one of you get me killed. Which brings me to Chris. What was that? Oh God. They're here. Where are you going? doing here? I'm haunting them. Uh, why? Uh, because they had you captured. I thought if I snuck in here and made some zombie noises, they would think there's a lot of zombies and then they'd have to free you because, you know, they'd need all the help they could get. I think my plan worked perfectly. What the hell is, what the hell is there? Are, are you dead? That's on vacation, baby. Name's Shelton. Shelton, they would have freed me anyway. You don't know that. You know, this is a fine thank you. I follow you all the way here on foot. I do all this work to free you. And now you're standing... Why are you looking at me like that? You opened the door. Huh? You opened the door. You affected the physical world. Uh... uh. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> so you could have buried your own damn body. Instead, you had me dig that stupid hole. You could have helped me fight off those zombies when we first met. Okay, so I can affect the physical world. But I'm not that good at it yet. It would have taken me hours to dig that hole. It's a lot of work. What was that? I, I, I didn't hear anything. I did. Shelton, was that you? No, it wasn't me, man. What's the matter? You got heartburn or indigestion? What? What is it? We've got company.
<coughs> Get out of my way. You better keep it together. I'm fine. You could have helped those people in there. If you lose it, they'll make a mistake. And those people aren't going to make it. If those people don't know how to survive, then fuck them. I'm not here to save a bunch of strangers. I'm here to save myself and get the hell out. That's all. If you travel with us, you work with us. If you've got a problem with that, there's the fucking door. Move. Last warning, Chris. There's no one around to punish me if I shoot. Wrong. If you don't get that gun out of my face, you'll see punishment. Is everybody okay? Let's get these bodies out of here. Sorry, Ashley. He has to die. No. He's dead. No. He's dead. Wait. There's a cure. He doesn't have to die. What? Wait a second. There's a cure? It was used on me. Shelton, the ghost, he knows where the guy is who's got the cure. Now you fucking tell me. He can take me to him. Yes, hurry. Please hurry. All right, where's Shelton? Shelton, you! Where'd you go? Oh, I, um, I went to go check on the front door, make sure it was locked so no more zombies could get in. Uh oh, looks like somebody got munched. Better put a pill in him quick. Sheldon, you said you could take me to the man who has the cure. Why don't you do that? Yeah, I suppose we could do that too. We should probably hurry though, he doesn't look like he's gonna last too long. Alright, it looks like we need some supplies before we head out of town. Ron, Emery, Jenna, why don't you take care of that as fast as you can? Bob! Why don't you and Ashley stay here and watch Kurt? We'll meet back here as soon as possible. Okay. Bob, watch him close. Mm -hmm.
do this. You saved me. Yes, my, my group and I, but but now... What happened here? They got to us, the Plaguelings. They, they, they finally got to us. Who are you? My, my name is Lester Brody. Uh, what is that, death? Yep, you got it. I'm the Grim Reaper. You ready to go? What? I just think it's a stupid question. What about this outfit says Angel of Death? Can you see him? Unfortunately. It's all right, though. He won't hurt you. How is this possible? How are zombies possible? Amazing. I know. These wounds look deep. Yo, Chris, this guy's bleeding all over the place. You better get some answers out of him while you still can. I know, Sheldon. Just be quiet. Lester, who do you work for? Who released the virus? It was, it was an accident. I, I, I'm a government research scientist. So the government developed this virus? No. We, we found it about six months ago. There was a meteor shower over South America. We found a bacteria that was infected with an unknown virus. It was easy to see how deadly it was. They didn't understand. They didn't listen to me. It wasn't close to anything we'd ever encountered before. Despite my desperate urges for caution, the research continued at a dangerous pace. I spent many long nights staring at that thing, battling with my conscience. Then the unthinkable happened. One of our own young agents accidentally came in contact with the virus. The powers that be forced us to experiment on him. That was a mistake. 
He was such a bright young lad. In anyway, it didn't take him long to escape. Then he went on to cause a bloodbath. Everyone he bit became infected. That's how it started. It, it was so fast. A group of us barely escaped, barely escaped with our lives. So, this virus came from a meteor that fell from space? The virus, it keeps an infected creature moving and alive even, even after death. We noticed. Lester, how long can the body function after death? I indefinitely. But you've developed a cure. That's how you saved me, isn't it? Yeah, how'd you save him? Look, look, here in the case. We, we developed an agent that combats the virus, but it's in the developmental stage. That's, that's what I used on you. Where can I get more of the cure? There isn't any more. My research is, is back in the lab. Your lab's in Chicago, isn't it? How did you know? Well, it's one of the most infected areas in the region, according to all the newscasts, so it only makes sense. Why wouldn't it be? Chicago. We'll take you with us. It's not too late for you. I can just give you some of the cure. It is too late. My wounds will kill me, or the virus, the virus will kill me. One. You have to go now. I, I can feel the infection eating away at me inside. Son, what's your name? Chris. Chris, the responsibility of the cure is yours. I tried to save all those I could. Don't let me become one of them. You're in a hard place now. You'll have to decide who lives and who dies. Don't let me become one of them. I'm sorry, Doctor. Chris, I think he was about to say something. What? He had his mouth open. Didn't you see him? Looks like he was about to say something. That, that's ridiculous. Shot him too soon. Shelton, can you just observe a moment of silence? No, oh, better yet. How about a lot of them? Chris, it looked it looked like he had something to say. Shelton, I'm serious. So am I. <sighs> Would you please, please shut your mouth? Chris, behind you! said there weren't no zombies up here no more. Just please, please, will you go check?
Zombie broke my shovel. We'll get you another one, Shelton. 
What's the fastest way back to the building? Up over the hill, that way. Let's go. Hey, Chris! Chris, look, there's one over there! We missed one! Hey, Shelton. Want to see something cool? Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> yes! Oh, that was awesome! How'd you do that? Can you do that every time? Every time. Zombies are all over the fucking place. Dude, where's Emery? He's gone. What? These zombies are quick as hell, and Emery's not exactly the fastest person in the world. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I found Chris. Does he have the cure? I, I think so, but he's still back there. I've got the cure. Getting out of here isn't gonna be easy. Well, what the hell are we gonna do? We gotta get out of this town sometime. Look, there's a town not far away. The four of us can get there pretty easily. Dude. Don't tell me we have to go back and get Kurt. Yeah. Kurt's dead. He's been bit. Fine, let's go get Kurt. Let's just make it quick, all right? I'll take care of these guys. Hey, over here! Hey, hey, freak show! Come take a bite of this! Come on! Come on! Yeah, that's right! Get away from me!
for these guys. We could have been gone. Kurt, Ashley, Ron, look out! Okay, Chris, so you seem to know everything about the virus, everything that's going on, but what's your deal? Who are you? I was a librarian. I did that for about five years out of grad school. I was married. We had a daughter. I'd heard reports of the strange virus infecting people in rural areas downstate, but I didn't think much of it. Then the first few cases were reported here. It was only four days ago but it feels like forever. One guy just down the street from us caught the virus. My wife, Beth, called me at work to tell me. enough for now. But Mom, I'm too hungry. Tell you what, I'll make you a big breakfast in the morning. Good night. Sweet dreams. I love you, Mom. I love you too.
I couldn't bring myself to kill my family with my bare hands, so I did the only thing I could do. said before that you were attacked. I was helping another group of survivors. I'm glad that you're helping us out. Ron, let me see your wound. You okay? I'm fine. Ron! I'm leaving, and I'm taking the cure with me. Get me the case, now! We can all go together, okay? We can make it. Why are you doing this? I'm going home, and I'm taking the cure with me. There's not much of it left, and I'm gonna use it to help out my friends and my family. When I get there. If you get there. When I get there. Now put it down. Step back. I might just let you come with me. Uh. <coughs> ah, bitch! Fine. Then just stay here and die. And you. Take comfort in the fact that I do intend to save people with this cure. My friends and my family. At least they won't end up like your wife and kid. Run. Do you have any kids? Hell no. Good. You okay? Yeah. Dick. I'm fine. We've got to get out of here. You ready to blow this popsicle stand? Definitely. Don't get any ideas about driving, Missy. Just because I'm dead, don't mean I can't roll. This corpse can haul, baby.
here. Any of you would care to get out of my way? Didn't think so. the goods. 
Chris, you made it back. Yeah. Whose car is this? Uh, Shelton's. <laughs> Shelton, you have a car? Ah! Emery! What? Are you bit? Yeah, I'm bit. Well, don't worry. Chris has the cure. Where's Ron? I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> Too late. <sighs> All right, let's go. Looks like we might just make it out of here. I'll drive. Shelton, you can't drive. It's my car. You're your car. Course. I see your point. It was a warm summer day with a gentle breeze. Somewhere around 81, I'd say. If it wasn't for the Walking Dead epidemic, I'd say it was a nice afternoon. There's very little of the cure remaining, and only a sliver of hope for making more. Even with a ton of it, the world will never be the same. Maybe it was just right place, right time when the doctor found me. Maybe it was fate, but it doesn't really matter now. What matters is finding out what three people in a poltergeist can do against an army of the undead. Only one way to find out. Change of vehicle, change of clothes, and a haircut later, we found ourselves in Chicago. I can't change the fact that the cure found its way to me, so I'll use it as best I can. We have to find the doctor's research. We have to find a way to make more of the cure. The undead are getting faster. They're getting stronger. And they're coming. I can feel them. Chris, they're coming. You're gonna need my help on this one. Pop a trunk. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Give, me, give me a hand here, Chris. All right, we're good. Shelton, how many of them are coming? All of them. Let them come. 